Welcome to the Skyrim literal walkthrough of Uskage, part one. Literal has been doing it on a catwalk, and I'm here to find the source of power in Voskige. Which is actually outside of Voskige, up on the top of the hill, but I decide I'm gonna go through the dungeon. And of course, that happens. Because why would it want to work? Why would Oh my gosh. <laughs> So now I'm just resetting my treadmill before I begin because uh, apparently I need to do that. So anyway, uh, yeah, so this is, there's a part where you can get trapped by the architecture in here, and that's what happened to me last time I played this, so I'm trying to avoid that. So go up here, there's a trap up here. I wonder what it does. It shoots darts at you. Fun. Is there anything behind the throne? No. But I can you can hear guys. There's some guys down here. So I'm gonna sneak over. Call it a walkthrough, should be a sneak through. The heads begin to roll already. Nice. Alright. It's gonna keep rolling. I come down here. Oh look, a trap. What kind of trap? That kind of trap. I hate those kind of traps because they sometimes get you stuck in the architecture. And boom. Took his head off too. Some taken heads. That's nice. That's good. Unlock this. Uh, portion of paralysis. This, this, this. I can't get it open. Oh my gosh. Double tap that one because he saw me. Alright, so this guy was trying to get this thing open the whole time. Circuit of Thieves, I think I've already read it, but it's there. Alright, let's see. What's this guy got? His dying wish was to open this. Let's see where it went, and it goes right there. And you run down here, and there's a treasure chest! And he spent his life searching for... Three gold! And a couple gems. Because of course he did. I'll leave those there. I am dangerously close to being overburdened, so... Got him. There was some healing potions over here. Looks like of health. I'm gonna leave that. All right. So you go over here. Search this guy. Draugr. There's Draugr about. Like, look. You see all the stuff on here, right? And this one doesn't have anything, so. There. Now it's complete. Like the asset manager just skipped it. Or whatever. I don't know what they call them. I should. I work in video games, but. Yeah. I don't. I actually think I skipped this room before. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. For completionism, go in here. 
This is another little room. Oh, another room. This one... I'm not, I don't think that's a door. Looks like it could be a door, but I don't think it's a door. Alright. Come on over here. Come on, iron door, open. Now, he got killed by... a swinging thing trap. You can see it right there. You could get hit by it too, so be careful. Alright, now this is a puzzle. Um, probably get attacked by Draugr, but if we read the puzzle... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first fears all, the second fears none. The third eats what it can, preferably number one. The fourth fears the second, but only when alone. Alright. So the weakest creature is the snake. The strongest creature is Dub Bear. The most opportunistic eater would be the fox. And the one that would fear snakes, but especially when alone, is the pack animal. The wolf. And there we go. Of course, I have the benefit of having just solved it about 10 minutes ago. But, you know. Uh, not a big deal. Got the first try that time, too, so. Alright, I hate these spiral staircases. Alright, and that is. Well, Skege itself. So, I'm gonna call it here and do the. Well, Skege passage is a little walkthrough as a separate video because I am running low on time. Alright. I got trapped in an asset, but I'll talk about that one in the next video. All right, peace out. Talk to y'all later. Like and subscribe. And that was Volskege. Next up, Volskege Passages.